Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Page. Today I want to talk about deposits. The deposit is a very important factor in any real estate transaction. The deposit is an amount of money that a buyer puts up when he makes an offer on a property. It is also known as a good faith deposit to show that the buyer is a serious buyer. A deposit is also called consideration. In order for a contract to be enforceable, there must be consideration. No deposit means you can't enforce the contract. In my practice, I never let any of my clients sign a contract until we have a serious deposit. If we get a contract and we see the deposit is small as zero, what's that gonna tell you about the intention of the buyer? Is he serious or not? He's not putting up any money, how serious can he be? Most of the offers you see from these so-called investors have a very small deposit, usually less than $200. So let's say you got a deal to sell a property and the day before closing, the buyer just says, you know what? I don't want to buy, or you know what, I need another 60 days. What are you going to do? What recourse do you have? Well, the only thing you really do have is the deposit. If you want to keep it, his day passed, you keep the money. But if it's $100, the buyer can just walk away and say, you know what, keep the deposit, I don't want to buy it. Now what if he had $1,000? Do you think the buyer would think twice before not closing? You bet he would. When I see a small deposit, that sends a lot of red flags to me and just tells me the buyer is not serious. I recommend for all my clients a deposit of at least a thousand, or actually we get 10% a lot of the time. A strong deposit locks in the buyer and he is less likely to walk away. So there you have some great information on the importance of a deposit. If you have any questions or comments, just send me an email or call my cell phone. Thanks and have a great day.